As some of you know, I've wanted to go to the lands between for a long time and that day has finally come. It took forever to save up enough runes, but that's how I think you should do it too when you come here because the conversion rate from dollars to runes is absolutely brutal and honestly, you go through them pretty quickly once you get there. So anyway, here's some of the clothes that I packed for my trip. It's a mix of kind of out on the town, having fun with the crew, outfits, along with a couple, I'm heading into battle and I need your strongest potions looks thrown in there. Now, as we all know, there is a lot to see in the lands between. I started in the spot where pretty much everyone goes first, Limgrave. It might seem a little bit basic, but I spent all of day one there because there is literally so much to do. There was this really nice lady who let me borrow her horse for free. I know. She said his name is Torrent and I just love him. He can really do it all. Galloping, jumping, charging towards your enemies. You know, everything you wish your horse back home could do. Just kidding, Sebastian, I love you. <laughs> You'll probably notice a lot of graffiti on the ground, and at first you might think like, uh, what is this stuff everywhere? But the locals actually lay this graffiti out to help tourists. They all have tips on nearby hotspots, secrets, and anyone who might be right around the corner. One tip when you're traveling to the lands between is to always be on the lookout for sketchy characters. There are lots of people out here who know you're a tourist, so they'll assume you've got tons of runes on you and they'll do whatever it takes to get them. I know, it's kind of sad to talk about, but it's just a reality of traveling to the lands between. Now this is Kaled. You can tell by its beautiful red sky. At first, it's like the most terrifying thing you've ever seen in your entire life. But I swear you get used to it and even start to appreciate its horrifying beauty. As far as the people go, the vibe here is very different than Limgrave. Lots of really intense locals going around talking about becoming Elden Lord, and it's like, okay, I get it, and I respect that you're on that grind, but I'm here to have a good time on my vacation, so if you're like me, you're gonna wanna just stay out of these people's way. So I know some of the people and places in the lands between have names that are maybe a bit outside the norm, but that's why we travel besties. Sometimes that means having to learn hard to pronounce stuff like lean, Laylin Linley. Anyway, this is the royal capital and the architecture is just so beautiful. My key takeaway is that the kings and queens in the lands between were absolutely living before, you know, all the wild stuff that happened with the endless wars and the... You know what, let's talk about something else. I had to leave shortly after filming this anyway because these guards made it pretty obvious I wasn't supposed to be here in the first place. It's not like there was a sign telling me not to go there, but you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? So if you're maidenless like me and you're looking for a place to visit, definitely go to the lands between. It's not exactly relaxing, but at the same time, it sort of is. It's hard to explain. You just have to experience it for yourself. I hope you make it there soon. Oh, and remember to like and subscribe.